the channel. We've got something fun for you today. Um, this is one of my favorite things, buying new motorcycle parts. Uh, I'm going to spend some time with this video. I'm going to show you how I uh, go through the process of finding parts for a project. It could be a motorcycle, uh, could be a, an old Ford truck, um, old lawnmower. I use basically the same process to find uh, cheap parts, used parts. Uh, maybe I need parts quickly. I don't want to wait for them. Um, we'll want to spend a little bit more money to get them faster. Uh, I'm going to walk you through my process, how I go through, uh, make the list of the parts I'm going to need, and where I find the parts. So we're uh, we're going to take you walk you through that right now. Uh, we're going to get these parts opened up, and we're going to show you what we got. So one of the best places you can go to is a junkyard. Junkyards are so much fun to root around. I could spend hours and hours in junkyards. The problem with junkyards is usually they're pretty picked over, especially if you're looking for very specific parts, but occasionally you get lucky. I was looking for this little muffler guard and it turned up. Um, they did not have any Z50 parts. They had a couple other neat parts, parts bikes, but nothing I really needed. If you've tried the junkyards out, didn't find anything, well, there's there's other options. Um, you can start searching online. Online tends to get a little more expensive, especially with something like an old Honda Z50. People seem to think that uh, stuff is worth lots of money. So I have often found that even if I do find used parts, it's often cheaper to buy new reproduction parts on a site like eBay, okay? So uh, KSL is a classified marketplace for Utah, Idaho. Uh, you can use Facebook. There's all kinds of things on Facebook. You can search Z50 parts, uh, Craigslist. These are all really good. Uh, Kijiji in Canada is very popular. There's, there's tons of marketplaces online that you can spend time searching for new and used parts. Uh, and it can be lots of fun, but as you start looking, you're like, oh, look at all these fun projects. This one caught my eye earlier. Um, like I need another XL350 at the moment. But, uh, I mean, that doesn't look too bad. So might have to come back and look at that one again. So again, you can you can search for new and used par uh, parts on marketplaces, and the the so let's move on to the the main way I find parts. Okay, the main way I find parts is on eBay, uh, and you can see I've got several parts already in my cart here, ready to check out. Um, I need to add a few more to this, um, but it can be tricky. So how do you know which part you need? Well, I have a website I love. It's called Babbitt's Online. All right. So I'm already pulled this up here. Let's go back. So Babbitt's Online, if you go to Babbitt's, um, here's their main page, OEM parts for any of these brands of motorcycles. If you click on any of those, kind of go through the process. OEM parts, Honda Motorcycle 77, Z50A. Every single piece of that motorcycle is listed here. So you, you might be able to buy parts from Babbitt's. Uh, some of the older stuff, a lot of the older stuff, they don't just don't have. And it, it lists that. So, for example, um, I was looking for the chain adjusters, right? So I went to Babbitt's and the rear wheel... Uh, and when that image pops up here, we can uh, find the, the, the part number we need. I don't know why it's taking so long. It's going really slow, but uh, I think that's actually the, what we need right there. Number three. Uh, let's try refreshing it real fast. Um... We're, we can take the part number of whatever part it is we're looking for. Oh, there we go. Yeah. So number three, part number for number three right there. I can just copy 
that part number control C and that's what I've already done here I just pasted it right in eBay you can paste it right into Google search uh, and see what comes up looks like Amazon has them partzilla is another motorcycle website eBay uh, you could so you can find the part number using a website like Babbitt's uh, if you're looking for John Deere tractor parts, same thing. You'd go to John Deere's website and find the part number and just Google it. Or put the part number in eBay. So you see they've got it 451 each. Need two. Uh, a lot of these, you know, if there's no add to cart, obviously that means they're unavailable, right? So you get everything, um, either Amazon, eBay, uh, get everything in your cart. We uh, click go to checkout when we're ready, and then it's just the waiting game. Um, one one thing I will say about the waiting game, though, uh, be careful on eBay. Free shipping, free returns. Um, a lot. Of, so here, here we've got four day shipping. So maybe we want it faster. But then you see something like this: shipping from China, and. Uh, if you look at this, it's going to say, oh, yeah, we can have it to you from China. This is roughly a month away. Um, I found these are very optimistic. I don't usually get them this fast. You, a lot of times you, you, need, you end up waiting quite a bit longer. So if you're worried about that, you uh, might want to just double check, make sure it's shipping from somewhere close to you so you get it in time. We've got everything in our cart. Well, then we got to pay the bill. We go to checkout, and then we just wait for the UPS guy to show up. Hope he gets here soon. I'm excited to open some parts. So first shipment, first parts to show up. We've got uh, two brand new tires, two tubes, two new rims. We're gonna repaint those. We've got our grips, throttle. These are the gas tank rubbers. Little spacers and insulators that go between the gas tank and the frame. We've got uh, new bushing to replace the bushing for the back wheel. That was a piece of pipe. Uh, cable. We've got our sprockets and chain, chain tensioners, brake lever. We've got this cute little muffler. We're going to give that a try. Um, we've got these oval number plates. Pretty big. Might have to send those back and find something smaller. And we've got some brake shoes. So we're still waiting for a uh, gas tank, fenders, or some white plastic fenders, and a few other odds and ends. Well guys, there you have it. Um, that's the process I use for ordering the parts. Uh, one last thing I would say is as parts start to show up, keep a list of everything you've ordered uh, check your invoices with the slips you get with the, the shipments. Make sure what you ordered is what you have. Uh, I often get uh, parts shipped that are just absolutely wrong. Um, in one case, I ordered some parts. I ordered a, all of the pieces I needed to rebuild a, a big motor and assumed I had everything and uh, didn't get to the project quickly. Parts sat on the workbench. Uh, when I finally went to get to it, the cylinder, uh, which I had paid for, I bought a big bore piston. Um, all of the parts were ordered, paid for, but the cylinder never showed up. So I had to go back to the company and they it took them a while to verify because it had been like three months, but uh, they did eventually ship it to me. Check it as it comes in. Keep an eye on your, uh, if you use eBay, your purchase history. It shows you if it's been delivered, gives you all the tracking numbers. Um, just a good idea to 
make a list, keep track of it, make sure everything's here. Uh, excited to the next video, we're gonna start putting some of these pieces on the bike. That'll be fun. Stay tuned for getting back to the Z50 build. Um, any comments, any suggestions on where and how to find parts, I'd love to hear them. Please comment. Uh, like the video if you're interested in seeing more of the Z50, please subscribe. We're going to continue with this until she's done. I'll give you some before and after uh, of this, this little Z50 build as we go. Thanks for watching.